All right then guys, so this is the update that you've been waiting for if you've been following my channel. So you would know that a little while ago we had a massive Aptasia issue in the tank and I went ahead and I purchased uh, some Vergia Nudibrug. So before we get into the main kind of update and, uh, and the result, let's just have a quick reminder at how it all started. We've got nine Bergias in this jar. If some are not visible, check the lid where they uh, hide. Shake the jar gently to dislodge from the lid. So if I bring the camera up, oh, there we go. There's a couple there. I don't really know if the camera is going to like pick up on this very well. But um, oh, there's one on the side. Hopefully you can see that. So we've got some around the bottom. There's one up there. There's one all the way up there. There's one on the very, very base. You can see a little bit more if I turn it up on its, up on its end like that. All right then, so why are we doing this? Well, as you can see, hopefully there, just by the um, base of the mushroom toadstool, there is a lot of Aptasia. A couple just up on the top of that rock. There's another one or two there. A couple over here as well on this rock. And also look, Look at that on the back glass as well sort of a few random ones you know dotted around there's one there right at the back under those zoas for instance you know there's a couple like here this large cave for piney there's one right at the very back uh, you might just be able to sort of see it popping through we've got some more up here there's quite a reasonable <laughs> uh, outbreak of um, Aptasia. Oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. And he's out. He's on the rock. Guys, can you see that? Right, let's try another one. Okay, I've got another one, I've got another one, I've got another one. Am I gonna put him down? That was a bubble. Here he comes, here he comes. There, he's on the rock as well. That's two on the same little piece of rock. So I just thought I'd give you a quick update with regards to the Bergia Nudibox. It's the 7th of November, I've just got home and although there are still a lot of Baptasia in here and I haven't seen them since putting them in, which was to be expected, um, but I'm just thinking I haven't seen any anything at all. However, look what I have just noticed. If I can get it to focus and zoom in. Where have you gone? There is one right there. I might have to put an arrow on it on the screen so you can see. But yeah, there he is, look. Chowing down on a bit of Aptasia. So that's really cool. So that's one. Really don't know where the other eight are. But um, yeah, quick update. Don't know when it was I put them in the tank. I forget now. I'll probably stick that up on the screen as well, the date that they went in the tank. And as I say, 7th of November and this is the first time I've seen one. Uh, still fishless as well, uh, still in the QT, just there. Uh, very soon to be going into the main tank. But uh, yeah, quick update on the Bergia Nudibar. He's gone above it, he's not going to it, unless he's gonna suddenly turn around and ninja attack it. I don't know where are you going dude, it's below you. Just checking in for another update with you guys. So I've just found this guy up on the uh, crop wave and he's making his way over to all these Aptasias that are on there. So I think he's going to try and have a crack um, at them on his own by the looks of it. Um, normally they sort of attack the big ones in kind of groups. But uh, yeah, this guy's the uh, the lone warrior. So let's uh, let's leave him to crack on. All right then, so it's about five or so days later and I just noticed this large cluster of uh, nudibranchs underneath this rock. Now, I don't know if that's what they're called when they're all together, a cluster, but uh, maybe they're just all having a mother's meeting under there. Who the hell knows? But I'll tell you what, there is... Oh, Piney, will you just move out the way? <laughs> um, there is quite a lot under there. I can't quite make out exactly how many, but... I'm going to guess maybe five or six so let me zoom in and then hopefully you can have a bit of a better look but yeah loads look at that one there that's much bigger than what it was when i put them in and i've just 
noticed another one down here somewhere. Where was it? Oh, there. Can't see any more at the moment. But I'll tell you what, there isn't. And there isn't any Aptasia that I can see. So extremely happy with that. But yeah, look at that guy down there. And he's a good size. We'll leave him be. All right then, so it is the uh, 14th of December, so I've just got back from work. I'm obviously keen now to get this video done, dusted and out so you guys can see it. Pretty busy at work, so might be another week or so before I actually get this live to you. Um, however, uh, obviously all the updates that you've seen, progressively the Aptasia has been getting less and less and less, so that's really, really good. And also the new d have been increasing in numbers. So, you know, put nine in in the beginning. They have obviously been multiplying, so that's excellent. I did actually see a, um, a ring uh, of their eggs, or whatever it's called, so they were definitely breeding. And as you saw, they are definitely a lot bigger than when they first went in. Now, what I'm going to do in a second is I'm just going to do one more sort of sweep of the tank. Um, do that on the phone and I'll whack the white lights on this time so um, hopefully you'll be able to see a lot easier. But my experience with these nudibranchs is that, you know, yeah, they're dead, dead tiny when they first come in and they're a bit of a pain to sort of get, you know, squirted onto the rock and if you do it too hard, they kind of like fly off uh, where you don't probably want them. Um, but then if you take your time doing it, they seem to then suck to the inside of the little pipette, which is even worse then because then you, you you can't get them out um, or you struggle to get them out uh, so uh, so yeah they're a bit of a bit of a pain I suppose to, to get them into the tank you've got to make sure as I mentioned before you have no wrasse you know you have nothing that's actually going to be a predator towards these nudibranchs but I'll tell you what they do a bloody good job um, I am so impressed so happy now with the tank there is literally I cannot see one Aptasia in this tank anymore. Uh, yes, it takes a little bit of time, you have to expect that. I think it got to probably maybe the second or third week in and I hadn't seen any, I hadn't seen any kind of um, reduction with the uh, with the Aptasias or nothing, but you just have to keep persevering. I almost got to the point where I ordered another five because I thought, these nine that I've put in, they, they, they must be dead, they must be dead, because nothing's happening, but just be patient, and uh, you know, at least two, maybe three months, depending on A, how many you buy, how big your tank is, and how many aptasias you have, but anyway, let's uh, have a quick look in here before I wrap this up, uh, so that you can see it under the white light, so come on, let's have, let's have a look. Right then guys, so as I mentioned, I am going to uh, do the lights onto white. So let me just quickly do this, uh, get this up to that one. Okay, right, so now we've got white. Hopefully you'll see a lot easier. I won't have to worry about uh, kind of messing around with the camera because uh, of all the blues. But as you can see, um, and I'm gonna go like is sort of fairly sort of slowly, on all the rock, so you've got Piney's Cave at the moment, uh, and if you remember at the beginning of the video where I gave you a quick sort of uh, round up as to you know what had been happening in the past, there was a there was quite a lot of Aptasia all up the top there. There was quite a few, one really massive one over at the back there, and it's just absolutely everything has been picked proper proper clean so as i say very very happy that now finally we don't have any of them ugly aptasias in here and i'm hoping these white lights are doing a bit of a better job so that you can see what's going on Definitely uh, white for me looking at it. I don't know what it's like through the camera. But all under here. And the worst spot, again, was 
right by that large um, mushroom toadstool. There was a ton of them, um, uh, just all in this area here. And then what we'll do is, Piney, yes, I know, we're looking in your tank, and yes, you always get in the way, don't you? Right, let me carry on, please. Right, so let's have a quick look round the corner, side view. Um, we had some more down here, just underneath this, um, uh, yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> we had some more on the rocks here. Glass, all pit clean. Look at that. So pleased. Same with the power head. Absolutely nothing on the power head whatsoever. And if you remember, we had that lone warrior. Um, Nudebronk on here with about two or three Aptasias. So, uh, so he's obviously cracked on with that. And he's done an a excellent job, as have all the others. So... As you can probably tell, very, very pleased. Aptasia free from certainly what I can see anyway. And uh, let's hope it stays that way. But you know what? If they come back, I damn well know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to mess around with uh, anything else, Aptasia X or Aptasia F. I'm not going to screw around with any of that anymore. It'll be straight in with some more Nudibronx because they are just, well, the beast, aren't they? For getting this done. So, as I mentioned before, it is the 14th of December, so we're on the cusp of Christmas. So, if I don't manage to get another video out between uh, now and uh, Christmas itself, uh, I do want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have a, an excellent time over the festive holidays, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Is it go?